the top now. No, nothing can move you. Before we get started, got some housekeeping rules, and one of them is make sure that you share the stream with everybody because we're going to have a lot of things we're going to talk about today. Um, hit the note, hit the like button. I mean, whether you like me or not, just hit it because it does help the algorithm and it brings more eyes uh, into this particular community. Uh, hit the notification bell uh, just in case. Um, that way you know when a video is being dropped anytime, anywhere, whoop, there it is. You already have it in your notes and I can drop these at any time, any place. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Oftentimes they unsubscribe. It was well on our way to 11,000. Then I started talking about some black issues. They changed the algorithm up. I got away from the Democrat, Republican talking, siding with one of the two. And I started strictly talking about community issues. And they uh, started to demonetize me. Um... They blacklist me. They unsubscribed a lot of people from me. So go check to see if you're still subscribed because you're probably not subscribed. So just go check to see if you're subscribed. If you have been unsubscribed, which could have been YouTube fault, uh, you can rescribe. And also remember that if you don't see this stream on here because they can't take it down, you can find this stream over at my Rumble account. No problem. I'm there. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I do want to start off with a, a disappointment they say when your um your heroes will fail you at one point don't put 100 percent faith in your heroes because they fail you that's why i've learned not to put a trust in the pastor i have a good pastor great pastor couple pastors mentorship but i don't put my faith in them this human being like me so they'll slip and fall and i find them in an affair with another woman so like it wouldn't shock me i would tell them he need to sit down. Wouldn't shock me because he's a human being and he gets the temptation just like everybody else. I expect him to be stronger, but I expect me to be stronger. Who am I to expect him just because he teaches or preaches to be stronger than me? No, the teaching and preaching, they got to go on no matter how strong you are. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, if you are can't handle your, um, you know, maintaining who you really supposed to be, sometimes you have to sit down and learn and listen and get educated instead of being the learner, the list, um, the teacher, the educator. You got to be taught yourself. So, um, you know, how come I got on that? Anyway, nobody's perfect. All right. So, um, so you'll find me over there at Rumble. Uh, oh yeah, talking about heroes. Talking about heroes. So let's go here. All right. So this is a Jamba Baraco. Now you know me. My lineage is foundational Black American or Freedman. Uh, Freedman. We're going to talk about Kamala Harris. And her pimping out the black freedmen ba base to all people, trying to turn the freedmen bank into a national bank for all people when it's supposed to be for black people, for freedmen in particular, foundational black Americans, or what Dr. Claude Anderson would call uh, um, the NBA, uh, Native Black Americans. Native Black Americans, those black Americans, blacks were here before the settlers came and black came here after the settlers came from Africa uh, through slavery. But there were already blacks here, black Native American Indians here also. Uh, so that's why we call ourselves foundational black Americans because oftentimes we had to intermingle and we had to depend on one another when it comes to dealing with white supremacy and slavery and things like that. So we end up having an ethnogenesis and it's a whole created, whole new race of beings. Just like when you're born again, they say born again is you becoming a whole new race of being. You're a new being, you're a new species. Yes, you're a human species, but inward, you're, 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 you're connected to God. But God will begin to give you, communicate with you some things. Anyway, but this is how this is. We had an ethnogenesis. And um, through this ethnogenesis, let me make sure I'm, I'm, I'm on. Through this ethnogenesis, a brand new creation or brand new lineage was born called Foundational Black Americans. Now, we've allowed the government to give us our name. They call us a freedman. They call us colored people they call us african-americans thanks to jesse jackson uh and those terms are so wide open because colored 
end up being what you call people of color. So if you hear somebody say colored people, it ain't no different from somebody saying people of color. It's a cuss word. It's a slander to me. If you say people of color around me, I'm going to look at you just like you said colored people. So for you people on the left that got mad at the dude on the right, for him sounding like he said colored people, he didn't say. He said college. <laughs> he didn't say colored. <laughs> but let's say he did. You can't get mad because you're using the word term colored people. Every person on the face of this earth qualified as a colored person including white people that's why you should never use it well all people of color be distinctive about a person color i'm black i'm a foundational black american which means my lineage goes back to post 1600 before the slavery before the slave traders come i have a lot um seminole indian on one side of my family so saying all that the issue of palestine and israel is an important issue nobody ever said that no foundational black americans said, have said that but we're so focused on a genocide happening in our own country. See, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, and you can't focus on both and expect to get results. You have to be laser-focused on one in order to get results. You can't run a race on a racetrack, uh, a 100-meter dash, and ride a horse at the same time. You can't do it. So it's not like we don't care about Palestinians. There's black Palestinians there. And a lot of people think foundational black Americans don't jail with other black people. No, no, we, we, we're we one big family. I mean, we joke on each other, play fun with us, stuff like that. Um, but at the end of the day, we're still one big, beautiful black family. I mean, we're rooting for everybody. Of course, we're going to root for the United States in the Olympics, for black people, black girls and black people in the Olympics anyway. But as an American, I was rooting for every person in the Olympics. I don't care what color they are, but, they are. but I definitely was rooting for my black brothers and sisters, which were dominating the Olympic olympics in america but then i also was rooting for the diaspora when i saw uh, a a black brother got his gold medal i was surprised i was happy for him you know now that mess in the break dancing i wasn't happy about that crap man that was a bunch of foolishness and we'll talk about that another another day so ajamu baraka pan-africanist national black scholar international scholar a uh, very well educated man somebody who i looked up to um he recently posted on Twitter this, and it wasn't that long ago. You foundational black folks, whatever in the hell that means. Negro, you know what that means. You know what the hell that means. That's freedmen. You could we we could we could intertwine and call it whatever. Some people call American descendants of slaves, but oftentimes we we don't try to lean on that because there's organizations with chapters called American Descendants of Slaves, just like being called a Kappa. Cap is not a race, but it's an organization with chapters. But some people say American descendants of slaves. I don't like to use that because a lot of descendants of slaves from other countries can come here and become Americans. Uh, and then they can say they're American descendants of slaves. You're not American descendants of slaves. You're descendants of slaves that became an American. Freedmen is the name the government gave us once we were freed from slavery. Native black Americans is the name that Dr. Claude Anderson created just to let, just to signify that there were native blacks here. We are native to this land. This is our country. We're not immigrants. Then you have what we decided to mold and shape the word into foundational black Americans, which means we were here since the we found it, the United States. White colonizers could not be found this country without us. This country is not what it is without us. It was our blood, sweat, and tears. So Jabra uh, or Jamo Baraka. See, this is why black people couldn't even jail with the Green Party anyway and looked at it as weird because of stupid stuff like this. Something is better left not said. You just insulted a lineage, a lineage of people. And people are starting to wake up to their lineage. We decide to determine the lexicon on who we are, not the federal government. We, we, we've we thrown away the term African-American because Elon Musk, who is from African, can become an American citizen and call himself an African-American. If somebody from Nigeria, white, black, it don't matter. He can come here and call himself an African-American because he's from Africa and then now he lives in America. Now he's African-American. It's just like somebody from Jamaica who comes here and they were born here. But the lineage go back to Jamaica. They call themselves Jamaican Americans or Jamaicans. So we've determined to call ourselves foundational black Americans. So just in case you didn't know who that was, dude, now you know. He said that what if the United States can rationalize this brutality against non-white population, what do you think they would do to you? You want to be Americans, but being American is being white 
and a seller and a supporter of this life. Now, this is horrible. This picture here is horrible. You're seeing Israel bombing Gaza to pieces. Now, I'm not for that, and I don't support that, and I'm not going to vote for a president that's going to continue to push that. Trump is pushing that crap, and Kamala Harris and Joe Biden pushing that crap. Kamala Harris will continue to fund Israel and give them our tax dollars and continue to help maintain their Iron Dome. Trump wants to build an Iron Dome here, which I'm for. I don't mind that. You know, but um, I don't want our tax money to be going toward genocide. And I'm not supporting neither one of them. If you're going to support continuing this bombardment of Palestine, I'm not for it. But I'm not going to get out there and pick it on the street and stuff like that, knowing we still got issues in our own community. We've been genocide from day one. And my book, Abortion, is genocide against black people. If it wasn't for Margaret Singer pushing abortion to the church through the black community, we would be the number one community in america because we were populating like wildflies they taught us that way to breed like cattle and that's how they did they breeded us like cattle and it became our nature so they had to find something to depopulate us and one way they did that is through sterilization or through abortion and that that was the fastest way to minimize the, and control population control the black race con specifically the foundational black American race. So I don't support abortion and I'm not voting for anybody that do. Now that's me. There's some things that are more important than fear tactics or, oh, we going to go back to slavery and all that and they're going to roll back. They've been doing, they've been saying that stuff ever since I was a child with Reagan and they got a plan and they got this plan and this plan. They had a project 2025 back in 1975. Stuff ain't new. That's why I don't, that don't fear me. And when people try to tag it onto a presidential race, most of the presidents looked at the, didn't even pay that stuff no mind. Every last president I've known, the Heritage Foundation tried to push their crap on them and they rejected it. And knowing Donald Trump, he ain't taking nobody plan. That man is such a narcissist. <laughs> let me let me be quiet. He ain't gonna take on somebody else's plan. He gonna always have his own plan. Heritage Foundation, get out of here. Ajama, we see what's going on. We see it loud and clear. We got our own issues, and it's just as important. The foundational black American race is at a point of survival now. Everybody's coming to this country and getting the edge over us, and our voices have become from number two to down at the bottom of the totem pole, and that was by design. And we got to do what we need to do by any means necessary to maintain our top position. Everybody else is trying to come in and take our place. And we're not going to let them. We don't mind you coming in, but we got to take our stand. That's why we holler, no, no, no reparation, no vote. Because Dr. Claude Anderson taught us that reparation is the only way we're going to be able to maintain our leadership in America. This is our country. We built this country. We were here before the settlers came. We built this country. There were no United States. Uh, it was just known as Turtle Island. We helped form the United States, but we're going to be lost in the down at the mud pile are you freaking kidding me that's why we're lake of lakes of focus that's why you can't hear us and that's why we're not you know but for you to say this dude for you to say this it just made me want to say man go eat a pack of you know what but you know I, this is so insulting from you the guy who i looked up to the guy i admired to say some dumb stupid asinine thing as this and you call yourself a professor international scholar and you're gonna say something dumb and stupid like this hope you retract what you said maybe you got hurt in the moment when you saw this picture but you saying stuff like this will not ever get us on your side of the aisle doing things that you want us to do this what is what really gets me how you insulting us is gonna cause us to get say yeah you right i repent <laughs> Let's do it the right, let's do it the way you think. How, uh, let's go, let's do, go do it. No, they ain't going to do this. We have our own mission. We have our own genocide. We have our own brainwashing of our own people where we can't even think. Growth, development, population, financial prosperity. We, we don't think that no more because we so doped up when it comes to political affairs and things like that. We're at war with this person that... It's just ridiculous. And we never can be on one page when it comes to true black issues. True black issues can't be done through a party and it can't be done through some organization organization outside of the grassroots. And you should know that. Shame on you. Shame on you, Ajama Baraka. Now, they was roasting them up here and rightfully so. Look up here. I'm not posting nothing up here. I think I'm not posting nothing at all. Look up here. You need to direct this energy toward Kamala's supporter. 
not us, who actually demand specific policies for our vote. And um, so just go on how slavery became America's first big business and stuff like that. And then um, some crap from the Heritage Foundation, of course. Speak to DJ Kali about uh, and any other ethnicity in the United States. In other words, don't be hollering at us about it. Tell that his people, you go find the Palestinians and tell them to fight for Palestinians. Why holler at us? You, you got these Palestinians just trying to act black like DJ Cali, been making money off black people and off black culture. Go holler at him. Then he said, seriously, that's how you start this conversation? You know damn well what a foundational black America is, TL. Not our problem, go there for you, go yourself and fight. Why does everyone um, focus on us, foundational black America? Why are we the saviors for everyone else? Why are we the ground that you like to trample on? Why are we the only people, in other words, we fight we're such a loving, humble, you know, passionate person. We always hug people and reach out and love people. That's just how we are as foundational black America. Had we been revengeful people, boy, like brother, I think brother Nelly Fuller said it. Is brother Nelly Fuller? He said, black America don't know nothing but a foot in the, um, on, um, white America, America. Black people don't owe nothing. Foundational black Americans don't owe nothing to nobody but a foot in their behind. And it's true. We don't owe you anything. We don't owe you no love, but we give it to you. We owe you no compassion, but we give it to you. We owe you nothing, but we give it to you. What we do owe you is a foot in your behind. And we've yet to give it to you. Keep on edging on. Keep on pushing on. And that foot might go up your behind. You know, and I can go on and on. These people just roasting one of the most intelligent black men to walk the face of this earth to say something so dumb. I'm going to get off of that. So disappointed as John Mubarak for making that statement. But hey, hopefully he'll realize he made a mistake. We all do. We all talk out of side of our mouth. We all post something and regret that we posted it. Hopefully that's his situation.